Hi guys, Jen here from One Leg Out of Bed and in this video I am going to combine and show you how I combined keto with intermittent fasting and a, a water fast. So combining all those three to give us a 10 days of weight loss and health benefits. In the past, I've done keto separately, just as a week, you know, a seven day thing to, to do occasionally. I've done intermittent fasting most of this year, and I've also tried some water fasts. But in my previous water fasts, I just launched straight into them. And you can do that, but it does make the process a little bit more difficult for you to go through. What is a better way of doing a water fast is to do a low carb or keto diet for a few days before you launch into the water fast. I'm going to pretty much follow the same meal plan that I followed in my other videos, so I won't labour all of that part of the process too much for this video. If you're interested, I'll link in the description below where I talk about the recipes and things in a lot more detail. For this video, I'll just quickly show you what I ate every day. I, as I said, I'm combining keto with intermittent fasting, specifically OMAD, so one meal a day. So I will eat for seven days, one keto meal a day. Then straight off the back of the keto week, I will do three days of water fasting. It takes about 24 to 48 hours to get the benefits of a water fast. So I do want to do the three days if I can, but sometimes if I'm just not feeling it, if I'm not feeling very well on it, then I, I will stop it short. Don't put your body through stress. Do what you can do, listen to your body. But as I say, I plan to do three day water fast straight off the back of the keto week. So the reason doing keto before a water fast just makes the whole process a lot easier and gets you better benefits as well is because during your keto, your, your keto diet, your body will already have adjusted to using fat as fuel instead of blood sugars. So the transition into the water fast should be a lot easier. As I mentioned, I'm also combining keto with intermittent fasting. That should help us out as well because when you do a water fast, your body expects its meals at its usual time. So if you normally eat breakfast, lunch and dinner, when you're doing your water fast, you're gonna get hungry at breakfast time, lunch time and dinner time. If your body's got more used to less meals a day, so it's got used to not having breakfast or it's got used to not having breakfast and lunch and just having one meal a day, which is OMAD, then during your water fast, it's, it's going to shout a little bit less at those times. It's used to only getting lunch and dinner, or it's used to only getting dinner, and you should breeze through the meal times a lot easier. So to get started, I'll quickly show you my seven days of keto. I'll show you what I ate every day, and I'll show you the drinks that I had. We'll just go through that really quickly. The thing I really wanted to do is show you the to fast so we'll, we'll put a little bit more time into that one. That's a keto week all finished and I am already feeling so much better. All the bloating and uncomfortableness in my tummy has gone and I've, I'm full of beans. I've got loads of energy, not 
necessarily physical energy, but mental energy, um, really, really clear, fast thinking, full of ideas. I went into ketosis uh, a few days ago because of doing the keto. So now what we've got left to do is our water fast. For a detailed explanation of water fasting, I will put a link to my other video below. I just wanted this video to be more of a sort of diary of the process and, and how it feels to actually do a water fast. I will just explain a few basics though. During a water fast, we eat nothing and we just drink water. So I'm all stocked up with my water in my little sippy cup and I always add a little bit of salt. If, if I don't eat salt, I will feel incredibly ill. Sodium is one of our essential minerals, so we need sodium. You get enough in the food that you eat, but when you're fasting, you're not getting any sodium. So I always supplement my water with some sodium. You can just pop a little bit of salt in your drink, or you can make a salt sole. Again, I'll, I'll put a link uh, below to show you how to do that. During this fast, I'm also gonna forego my usual soft gel capsule, which is my Omega supplement, and also my sort of menopause uh, multivitamin. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna take those for the next three days. It's only three days, so it doesn't matter. The only thing I will keep taking is my citalopram, which is my medication for agoraphobia, um, anxiety, it's one of those SS, RIs. So I'm, obviously that's medication from the doctor. I will carry on taking that. During our water fast, we don't want any cortisol in our bodies because that will negatively impact on our insulin. So we don't want any stress. And I don't just mean mental stress. I also mean physical stress. So it's best not to do really intense uh, activities, exercises, uh, that will just stress your body out. So there you go, you have full permission to take it easy for the next three days. Today is day one of my water fast, it's lunch time and like I said I'm feeling great, not particularly hungry, just hungry enough to know that it is lunch time um, but my body will soon give up worrying about that. It will go back to normal and then at dinner time it will probably kick in again and wonder where the food is. So th this is, you don't feel hungry the whole time. You kind of, the, the hunger pangs spike around about the times when you normally would have eaten. And here's my lunch for today, a cup of nettle tea. If you've got stinging nettles anywhere near you that you can grab, you can make your own nettle tea. I don't, so this is just a shop-bought one. Um, so not quite as good for you, but it's a hot drink and it's keto-friendly. And I'm so full of beans, I am gonna crack on with some work because I've got loads of great ideas. And this, this mental clarity really is one of my favourite things about a water fast. So I will speak to you all later. One of my favourite things to do to relax is meditation. It doesn't have to be anything special. You don't have to stare at symbols or candles or uh, chant anything. Just anything that you can do to empty your mind of thoughts. I really like uh, guided meditations on, there's so many on YouTube, you can pick a 10 minute one or a 15 minute one, I might even put a few of my favourites in the description below if you want to check those out. Now I like to combine activities as much as I can because I'm always short of time, so what I really like to do is combine a 10 or 15 minute meditation with a, a yoga pose, <laughs> such a cheek calling it a yoga pose, but it is a yoga pose called legs up the wall. Uh, so you can even say that you've done yoga. 
So I will show you how Legs Up The Wall works. So Legs Up The Wall is literally laying on the floor and putting your legs up the wall. You need to scoot in till your bottom is touching the wall. And then at the same time that I'm doing this, I would do this for about 10 to 15 minutes, so the same length of time that I want to meditate. So I would just relax like this, or you could even open your, your chest out and relax like this, whatever you find comfortable. And then I would play my favorite guided meditation and just relax. The legs up the wall pose is perfect for if you're if you're like me and you get a lot of accumulation of lymph and, and fluid you know water retention and lymph fluids accumulating in the lower half of the legs the ankles that kind of thing um, this will help that lymph drain uh, because I've got great big chunky legs and I definitely do suffer with that issue I do this quite a lot. I try to do it at least once or twice a week, even when I'm not fasting. But when you're fasting, this is something, this is just a nice excuse to relax for 10 to 15 minutes. It is now dinner time, and my tummy is telling me it's dinner time, but nothing major. I am having a glass of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Okay guys, that is day one of the water fast done and it was easy peasy. <laughs> it's bedtime and I'm still full of beans. Um, definitely what makes this easier is if you've already followed a low carb or keto diet beforehand, even if it's just for a few days, because I'm not having to go through the adjusting to using fat as fuel part of it I've just gone straight into the benefits and um, I'm gonna try and get some sleep but I'm full of ideas still so what I'm gonna do is read my book for a bit and then do um, a guided meditation or something like that to calm me down and get a good night's sleep really important when you're water fasting some good sleep see you in the morning Hi guys, here we are on day two of the water fast and I'm still full of beans. I actually did sleep quite well though, very well in fact, um, and woke up wired. Apparently when you're doing something like this, you, all, you, you get more serotonin released and serotonin is the happy hormone, so maybe that's why I'm feeling so busy and and happy it is a really nice feeling uh, and i've only gone without food for one and a half days so yeah um, getting loads done got loads of work done last night getting even more done today what i am going to do now is just gone lunch time it kind of passed me by i didn't even notice breakfast and lunch uh my my hunger hormone the ghrelin didn't kick in at all so that was lucky I was just so busy but what I am going to do now it's, it's the afternoon I feel like a little treat <laughs> so I'm going to have a black coffee um, you know you're in the world of the strange when a black coffee is a treat but when you're on a water fast you take what you can get black coffee is absolutely fine to drink on a water fast I just wouldn't drink too many of them I, I limit myself to one a day um, don't forget it is a stimulant and we're meant to be avoiding anything that stresses our mind or our body so one black coffee a day is absolutely fine so that's what I'm going to drink now and I'll speak to you later it's coming up to dinner time now and I am getting quite hungry. My tummy just growled at me. My exercise for today was bathing the dog. I know, I'm so pathetic. Um, but anyway, that's all I can manage today. Busy, busy on the computer. So yeah, getting hungry, but it's not too bad. So that's the end of day two. I am feeling 
tired of tonight and also a bit hungry but only the kind of hunger that you feel when you've missed a meal so you don't get hungrier and hungrier and hungrier on a fast uh, I haven't eaten for over two days now and I just feel like I missed dinner one of the things people say when you mention that you're going to do or that you're doing a water fast is um, oh my god you're you're gonna starve yourself and the reason why I'm not starving uh, or starving myself is because my body is now eating my own fat as a fuel source and I've got plenty of it so I'm not starving <laughs> so all is well and I'm gonna read my book and get some sleep night guys so that's it I have made it to day three it's half past five so I am going to be able to eat in about an hour um, the question is what to eat uh, it should really be something sensible and gentle to get your tummy back into eating again and something um, keto would be great in the past I've done avocado, smoked salmon, eggs, something like that, but I don't know. Do you know what I really, really want is a ham sandwich. <laughs> I can't help it, that's what I really want. So I'm probably going to have a ham sandwich. I felt fine today, not too hungry, but I have felt quite crabby, um, just a bit short tempered and a bit tired today. Work has been absolutely mental though so that definitely doesn't help. I have been a bit stressed, haven't had time to do all the things I said you should do during a fast like taking it easy and meditating and stuff. Sometimes that's, that's just how it goes. I had thought that I wouldn't make the three days because I was feeling so fed up. Funnily enough not particularly overly hungry. I mean, I am hungry, but you know, it was nothing that was bothering me. But what I've really, really missed is the taste of, of food and, and even a nice drink or, you know, a nice cup of tea with milk in it, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad it's nearly over. And what we'll do next, just to finish off this video, I will show you the, the change in my weight, body fat, etc. For anyone that's interested, it's not the be all and end all of this kind of process, but it's, it's definitely nice. I definitely wanted to drop a few pounds. Don't forget though, whatever I show you, my phone's ringing again now. <laughs> whatever I show you, um, well, a lot of it might be or will be water weight, so you are likely to put all that back on again. All right, so I will show you the weight changes now.